courtesy there's one who says a muslim let us take one muslim answer hello hello yes i'm zahra sorry i'm zahra welcome zahra how i can help you i just wanted to comment on uh, the hadith what hadith which one the one with the i don't know like the discharge okay go ahead well that hadith i think it means when the women Mm. They have discharge. Okay. It's usually white or yellow. Okay. But when it's sexual, it comes like a fluid, like white fluid. But and that that hadith, I think, is more like. By the way, English is not my first language. Uh, no problem. <laughs> it's okay. So you see, let, let, let us read together, uh, me and you, Zahra. Let us read together. It says, "The man water is a thick and white. What is that water?" Wait, can you repeat it? It says in the front of me, and this is your Muslim translation, the messenger said, the man's water is thick and white. What is that thick and white water? Isn't it the semen? I don't know the semen. Yes, maybe. this is the man's sperm. Okay, now we move to the women. And you are a lady with my respect to you. And the women's water is a thin and yellow. What is that water? It depends. Like some women, it comes in various. Some women have white, some women have yellow. Hmm. But I don't know what's but what is, is that is that an orgasm thing? No, like women have like uh, discharge like before usually they have the menstrual they have like discharges It's hmm. common for women. Yeah, but your prophet here is speaking about something happening in the moment Which one of, which one of them comes first the child will resemble the parents. So he's talking about coming first What do you mean who well, comes the comes of a man is his orgasm that comes of the women is her orgasm this hadith in particular is just uh, to because um, to differentiate because some women they don't know like if, if they should wash themselves like as Muslims after we have sexual intercourse we wash ourselves mm. so that's I think it's related to like if the woman mm. should that she have to wash herself because she doesn't know like for the prayer like you have to shower okay no problem but but your prophet here let us go to the hadith your prophet, when a woman, she asked him about she having sexual dream. Okay. Is sexual dream is the same as uh, normal sex? Yeah, it's coming from human beings to have sexual dreams. No, no, no problem. Friend, and then you friend, wake I'm, up. I am not so, judging. I'm not judging anything. I'm not saying. I'm just discussing how, what, it, what it is. So this is a woman. She came to your prophet saying that uh, uh, she had a sexual dream and uh, she noticed a water discharge and your prophet he is the one who described that this water is yellow and thin right so she should she wash it she should wash it so this is something can be is washable right this is something washable yeah. okay so how the washable liquid in the vagina is the one who will make the baby female In that particular sense, I'm not sure. Mm. I'm not like a scholar, mm. but I just know that in the, this particular hadith, it's related to purification. No problem. But as you see here, your prophet claiming that the child resembled the parent or the mother because of that. Yellow. But can I just ask you a quick question? Sure. I don't know why. Like I think as Muslims, we believe in everything is destined. And I don't know why this was recommended to me, but I just, as a Muslim, and you're an ex-Muslim, I don't understand why you have like the urge to talk badly about about our, our prophet, like just as a human being, like even me, even if I don't believe in Buddha, mm -hmm. I wouldn't dare to be like, oh, he's not a good. I don't just nasty names. Mm -hmm. like, I don't. I just understand like a human being. Okay. Can and I, you're can from I answer, Saudi Arabia. Can I answer you? You probably have Muslim families, and then. I don't understand. Can That's I, just like as a human being. Can I answer you? Yes. Okay. First, I'm not an ex-Muslim. I never was a Muslim. I'm too smart to be a Muslim for a second. Second. Your name is. My friend. Listen. Uh, ex. I don't know. Okay, is it ex-Christian? No, whatever. No, I don't. Ex-Muslim. My name is a Christian prince. prince. No, Christian prince. Listen. Listen. Now, if somebody says that you are 
najis, you are filthy, you are the worst of the creatures, you are dirty, you are a kafir, you are you are evil, you are evil doer. You know, kill the Christians, kill the Jews. So why you are saying to me, why you are speaking against Muhammad when he say all those things about me as a Christian? Why you don't ask your prophet to do the same? If your prophet don't say we are kuffar, we are najis, we are filthy, uh, we, we should be killed, we should be slaughtered, uh, uh, you know, uh, 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 humiliate them, destroy them. So then we will not be, I will not be talking. Why you don't talk about the Hindus? The Hindus don't believe in Christianity too. But it's you not. do know that in Prophet, uh, Prophet peace be upon him's time, when he ruled the Christians, I mean the Jews, um, they lived there in peace. And then later, when the, friend, this is a big the companions your prophet, moved, your prophet. they didn't destroy the churches no, no, and they no, didn't no, uh, destroy no, no, the no, synagogues, no, they, they actually helped they did, them. Do you know what There's is, a treaty, okay, let me just ask look you. up okay. Treaty of Umar, who okay. says that you are not allowed to destroy any churches or any places of worship or other faiths okay my friend. and there is no way that uh, there's no way that's written that muhammad or any of the companions they 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 converted i mean they they spread islam by this word okay as many people did you believe. mention did you mention to us the pact of omar did you just say the pact of omar yes okay do you have the courage to read it for me the treaty of Umar, I don't have it. Should I Google it? Yes, Google it and read it for us. As long as you are proud about it. The treaty of Umar is a proof that Islam is a very bad religion. I, someone just said I'm older than you. No, I'm not older. Friend, I don't, I don't care how old are you. You are welcome to talk. No problem. I respect I'm, you. I respect you as a human being talking to me. Now tell me the treaty of Umar. You are the one who mentioned it, and he says uh, Islam respect. Islam did not respect, and your prophet he humiliated the Christians and he ordered to kill them all unless they pay the jizya. This is what the Treaty of Omar. So I want you to read for me the Treaty of Omar, please. Okay. <clears throat> is it called the Pact of Ugnar, right? Mm, the Pact of Omar. The pact of Omar. He forbid them from building new churches. He forbid them from repairing churches. He for, forbid them from knocking the bells. A Christian, he have to wear a, 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 his weight of a cross in his neck if you want to wear a cross. If you ride a donkey, you have to ride it in the wrong direction, which means your 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 butt to the back. And you, what are you talking about? This is what Muslims do to the Christians. They have to be humiliated. You cannot even teach the children Quran. You have to open your door and your house to any Muslim come to your house three days, three nights. Any Muslim now come to my house. You look at my door. He ha he can. Should I read it? I just found it. Go ahead. A little bit long. Go ahead. No problem. In the name of God, the merciful, the mm -hmm. compassionate. Mm -hmm. This is assurance of safety, which the servant of God, Umar, mm -hmm. the commander of faithful, mm -hmm. has, has given the people of Jerusalem. Mm -hmm. He has given them an assurance of safety. Mm. For themselves, for their property, their churches, their crosses, the sick mm. and healthy mm. of the city, for all the rituals which belong to which, which belong to their religion, their churches will not be in, inhabited by Muslims and will not be destroyed. Neither they. I'm sorry, I'm getting emotional because this is who Muslims are. No, and you're my friend, what you, what you are reading, what you are reading, what you are reading, what are reading, what are you reading is not the pact of Omar, and you are lying. It's in the front of this me. This is in the, the pact of Omar. The if pact, you just search it, the pact of Omar is in the front of me in the screen. It's hanging today. The it's pact, even hanging. The pact of Omar is in the front of me in the screen. Lady, read it. No, this is not the just so Google what is it. This? Everyone can Google so, so it themselves. So, so, they what, want. so what Everyone is this? So what is this? This so is what, not. I don't so know what, what you is found this? it. So what is this? What is this? What is in front of me now? Just Google for yourself. My friend, I am using Google too, like you. This is the pact of Omar. In the name of Allah, the most merciful, the compassion, the, the letter of, of the Umar servant of Jerusalem. God, Umar al-Khattab. I don't yes, know what you're talking. The commander what, what you of the faith. Read, read, read with me. Read with me. Here we go. 
This is the Which fact source of Omar. are you using? Because this your sources the, really depend. Like is, if you're using someone who hates the Islam, fact of they'll Omar. write lady, something else. Lady, I want you to continue reading. Can you give me the link you, you, you are reading from? Can you post it to me? Okay. Okay. <clears throat> give me the link okay this is the link you gave me i'm going to show it in the screen you have to scroll down a little bit no problem okay. here we go tell me where to stop here we go this is the treaty of Hama, right here this is the treaty of Hama. this is all the treaty this is not a treaty. Yes. They are, they are, this is not a treaty. What is a treaty? This is a false. What are the conditions? There's no conditions. This is not a treaty of Omar. No, it's still hanging today. You can find it today. Friend, it's hanging. It's not. It's not. This is not. This is, this is the summary. This is the top of it. This is not a treaty. Let me show you the treaty. Here we go. I will, I will show in front of everybody in Google how to find the treaty. I will, I will show you. Here we go. I will search in Google in front of your eyes for the Pact of Omar. And you tell me which website you like me to click in. Do you see the screen? I'm not seeing anything on the screen. It's still the same page. Okay. The Pact of Omar. By the way, just do you speak off Arabic? Topic, do you speak, you're from do you, Saudi Arabia, do right? Do you speak Arabic? What? You speak I don't Arabic. speak Arabic, but okay. I can read it a little bit. So, you know, you, you do not know even what the Treaty of Omar. The Treaty of Omar is a disgrace for a human a human race. And let me show you how I can prove that easy. Is your prophet Muhammad a person you trust his word or not? I trust his word. Yes. Okay. Did your prophet Muhammad say respect the Christians or you have to humiliate them? We live as example, my friend, and you can don't, see don't, by example, don't, like he my, never my, my killed friend, any Christians, friend, and he no, never no, killed no, any. No, Muhammad, he killed all the Christians in the Arabian Peninsula. This is why we don't have a Christians no more there. Don't tell me he did not. You're a prophet. Look what he said, and this is the back of Omar from your Islamic website too. Now look at this. Here, you're a prophet. He said, "You see a Christian in the street." Force him to the narrowest road. To the narrowest road, which means you have to insult him. All right. Now I want you to read for me. Is that your prophet talking, or this is me talking? I have no idea what you're talking about. But read with me carefully. Abu, as Abu Muslims, Abu no. Don't, don't tell me as Muslims. No, this is a lie. You don't know what Islam then. You are a Muslim by, by name, maybe. You, you are just an emotional person who is crying for nothing. Abu Huraira, he said, I am the one who should be crying. It's your prophet who killed my family. It's your prophet who took my land. It's your prophet who destroyed my churches. It's your prophet who forced us to pay jizya. It's your prophet who slaughtered us. It's your Can prophet. I just ask let you? Let me ask you. Let me you ask you. Who is, who is Sophia? Who is Sophia? Didn't he kidnap her after killing her family and her husband? Who is all those women he kidnapped from their husbands? What are you talking about? Now read for me. Your prophet said, narrated the message of Allah, said, do not initiate salam to the Jews and the Christians if you meet them. And if you meet them in the road, force them to the most narrow part of the road. Do you know what does that mean? I think you just have so much hate for Muslims. You, I are, think you, 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 are, you are the one who have hatred. The Quran in chapter 4, verse number 14, Allah, he says, I spread hate and enmity between the Christians. So if you want to blame me for hate, go and claim your God, Allah, don't be a hypocrite. How can your God can be God, yet he is, a, he is a spreading hate between the Christians? And now why you don't answer? What kind of a prophet he says, if you meet a Christian in the street, spit in his face and force him to walk in the sewage? Okay, can you just show me that hadith? What, it's in what front of you. About? If you see him in the street, force him to walk in the most narrow alley. This is the sewage. Can you go down and see if this is sahih? Everything we show is a sahih. What do you mean it's a sahih? I've never heard about this hadith. Well, but you never I heard know. anything. You never heard of the back of Amr before. You just have a have a title, but you know, go and read the back of Amr. You don't want to read it for me. You start reading something to me, have to do nothing, nothing to do with. Here we go. This is Sahih Muslim. Are you going to say to Sahih Muslim is weak too? Hadith number two one six seven a 
let us go to a different one what about the Quran do you want to show you the Quran the Quran says you have to humiliate me so why you are crying can you, for, can, you, can, you, can you read for me? Can you read for me chapter 9, verse number 29, please? Yes, and I just have a question. Do you live in Saudi Arabia? This and you're not where I live. I live in the moon. Can you read for me the verse, please? I don't have it in front of me. Okay, you have the chapter, Quran. Chapter Cha what? Chapter 9, verse number 29. I just don't understand why you my, my dedicate friend, don't your life. I don't understand. Don't change the topic. Don't change the topic. Everybody, everybody will see in a second that you are being hypocrite. It's your Quran. No, who, I'm it's your Quran who insult us. Your Quran is in humiliating us. Your Quran order you to kill us. And not only that, we have to pay you the money we we we, we make from our work in order to live. Okay, listen, first of all, there don't are stop, stop that talking. Are read the verse. When read the, read the verse. So this, stop this talking. Verse stop is talking. Speaking like when they're in the war. What war? This is. But as Muslims, hold we on, also hold have on, guys. Did she, she, the rules did are she if you're in did war, she say you can't kill hold on, someone that's innocent. Hold on, hold on. You said in the war, but Muhammad is the one that is attacking. Muhammad, he says, fight those who believe not in Allah. So why he want to fight us? Because we don't believe in Allah. <laughs> From who? From the Christian and the Jews. The, the Christian, they never fought Muhammad. The Christian, they give him asylum. They give him refugee in Ethiopia. Why he want to kill them? Because they don't believe in him. And then they pay the jizya. So what's the problem? If you pay Muhammad money, he will not kill you. And not only I'm not that, scholar, I, but I, I don't care if you are a scholar or not. Your prophet, he says you are half a brain according to Islam. Fighting in this Do sense, it, it, it doesn't mean like they are going to fight like it's in not the war. up to you. Can you? I just read the verse. Hold on. Do you like me to show you the interpretation for the verse? Or you will say to me that the interpretation of the scholars of Islam, they, it's a lie. Okay, they are, they are liars. those who do not believe in Allah or in the last day and mm. who do not consider unlawful what mm. Allah and his messenger have made unlawful mm. and who do not adapt the religion of truth from those who were given the scripture mm. right until they give the jizya willingly while they are humbled not humble they are going to be so it means like they're fighting to give the jizya jizya means like the tax ah like, tax guys tax you take our land you take our home and we pay you tax tax for what to stay alive let me show you how you light yourself in the front of everybody this is tafsir ibn kathir look with me in the screen everybody will be laughing at you in a second how you are lying to yourself trying to defend islam desperately and you are he crying said, first of all let me just you are crying you are crying let me just just, you just to no, okay. no 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 don't don't, don't change the topic don't, don't change the, don't change the topic islam don't change the topic don't the change the topic allah says that even if we disbelieve listen even if Disbelief, it doesn't matter. Allah will replace us. So, with tell much me, tell me, so, so if, 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 if it there doesn't matter, hold on. If, if, if it there doesn't matter, hey, hey, big mouth. Allah. Allah doesn't big, need big, us. Big okay, mouth. if Allah does not, if, 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 if it doesn't so matter, shut up. Shut up. If it doesn't matter, listen, there are angels. Make me hang up on you. Hey, big mouth. If it doesn't matter if we believe or not, why Muhammad says kill them wherever you find them? Why he want to kill us then? Food. Why he want to kill us? Why he want to kill us? If it doesn't matter, Allah will judge us in the judgment day. You're making money right now. Okay, here we go. Here we go. This is let, the only let us see who's making you're money. You're we, making money. Okay, Everyone's okay, making money. Okay, okay. No, you're, a prophet, Islam. you're a prophet. You're a prophet. Is the one is I'm making money, and you are a scumbag like your prophet. And let me get your busted big mouth. This is Ibn Kathir. He says, and feel themselves subdued. This ayah means this is will be no compulsion with the so-called market of their fear. Would result on etc. etc. And then he says, Wahom Sagirun, explain him. Go ahead and read. Big mouth. She's afraid she will not let me talk. This is about money you will take from the people of the Dimma. What is the jizya? Let us see what the jizya is. Go down. All of this is explanation for what the jizya. It is just him, nothing but to humiliate them and to steal their money. Fight against those who believe not in Allah in the last day. Don't forbid what forbidden by Allah and the Messenger. Who knowledge acknowledge uh, not the religion of Islam? So why okay. he's fighting them? Because they don't acknowledge Muhammad to be a prophet. This is the reason. And then he continues saying, "Let us read." Hatta yu'tu jizya until they pay the jizya. 
and not to choose why they are paying jizya because they refuse to embrace Islam, you liar. This is not a tax. And then he says, with willing submission and defeat. And then he says, and feel themselves subdued, disgraced, humiliated, be, uh, 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 belted. And therefore, the Muslims are not allowed to honor the people of the dhimma or elevate them above the Muslims, for they are miserable, disgraced, humiliated. You are a scumbag like your prophet. You are crying, showing emotion that you are a decent poor woman who don't know what's happening. Why you are insulting our prophet? And your prophet is ordering the Muslims to spit in our face, to take our houses, to rape our women, to kidnap our women, our children, and to sell them as a slaves, as sex slaves in the market. And even after that, if you take our land, and after you force us to convert to Islam or we die, okay, you don't want to convert to Islam, pay me. I will let you live. Do not initiate the Salam and the Jews and the Christians. And if you meet any of them in the road, force them to the most narrowest alley. And this is why, guys, read carefully. Did she mention the Pact of Omar? Did she mention the Pact of Omar? Let me get you busted. And this is why the leader of the faithful Omar ibn al-Khattab, may Allah be pleased with him, demand his will, known the condition to meet by the Christians. And what is the condition? That ensured to be continue, continued humiliation. The, 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 guys, do you see it? Do you see it? She said to me, Omar ibn Khattab, Omar ibn Khattab, he protect the Christian. <laughs> Look, we protect the Christian. What a liar you are. This is Ibn Kathir. Is that Ibn Kathir or this is Ibn Jarir? To ensure what? To continue the humiliation. The disgrace, the scholar of the hadith narrated from Abu uh, uh, etc. Abdul Rahman, etc. He says, I recorded Omar Khattab, may Allah say to him, in the terms of the treaty of peace conducted with the Christians of Asham, which means the people of Syria, in the name of Allah, the most gracious, the most merciful, this document of the servant of Allah, Omar, the leader of the faithful of the uh, uh, from the Christians, uh, 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 from the Christians, such and such of the city. And then he says, Come to us, we request safety. Safety from what? Safety from the Muslims. You see, the Muslims come into our town and they say to us, if you pay us and you agree with our condition, we will not kill you all. And she is saying that is merciful. Merciful. This is merciful. What what Umar Khattab have to do with Jerusalem? Why you came there? There's no Arab. And look what happened. For their property and of, of their self and our religion. May the conditions of ourselves, this is what the, the, the Christian, they force to agree. This is not an agreement. This is a forcement agreement. Otherwise, you will die. Here we go. Read with me carefully. Huh? We will, we will uh, neither react to our areas of ministry, churches or uh, sanctuaries, or uh, for monks, nor restore any place of worship that need restoration, nor use any of them in the purpose of enmity against Muslims. And we will not prevent any Muslim from resting in our churches, whether he come in the day or the night. A Muslim can come anytime and he can sleep in the church. He can bring his, his horse and he can sleep inside. And we will open our doors, horses, our horses of war, uh, uh, our worship uh, uh, for the warfare and uh, etc. Read with me. A Muslim, he can enjoy sitting in your house for three days. He can come to any Christian. You have to open his your house for three days, three nights. She said to me, You know, you made us cry with you, you liar. You stupid. And not only that, continue to read and see how garbage this. We will not teach our children the Quran. Anyone knows why? Do you know why they should not teach their children the Quran? Because if the children of the Christians learn the Quran, they will know how stupid Islam is. This is the Pact of Omar. Even he decide what kind of a clothes they will wear to humiliate them. We will not imitate their clothing the cops, the turban, we cannot dress like Muslims. We are not allowed to dress like Muslims. 
You cannot wear shoes like them. You cannot wear ha hairstyle like them. You cannot speak like them. You cannot have nickname like them. <laughs> Do you see it? All of this is the conditions of Omar al Khattab and this creature, liar creature. She was crying, saying to us, Why are you insulting me? And you know, you're making money. Let me show you who is making money. It's you making money. The jizya here is about taking our money. You force us to pay jizya so you can live. For centuries, Muslims, they have no job. We work. You sit in home having sex. And you collect jizya from all countries around, from Morocco, from Tunisia, from Egypt, and you do nothing. And she was a crying as if she is the victim. Egypt is not your land. Iraq is not your land. Syria is not your land. Morocco is not your land. Tunisia is not your land. Spain, Spain is not your land. You went all the way to Europe. You took Istanbul. Istanbul is not Istanbul. This is Constantinia. And we are crying. Why are you are insulting a woman, the prophet? And let me show you what your prophet, he said. Your prophet, he protect the Christians, you liar. Let us see more. We are not done. Muhammad, he did genocide. And this is why there's no Christians, no Jews in the Arabian Peninsula. Be careful with me. People are laughing at your lies, big mouth, machine gun mouth. The message of Allah said, if I live, if Allah wills, I will expel the Jews and the Christians from the Arabian Peninsula. Do you see it, liar? So how you say to us? Why you are insulting them? Somebody expel me from my land and you are saying to me, he respect me and he protect me? Sahih, the hadith is sahih. Call me and cry again. Call me. <laughs> and you want to make money. You want to make money. Let us see who is making money. Your God, Muhammad, is begging for money, promising you if you do give him money, he will forgive your sin. Have you ever heard of a prophet, he says, give me a loan, Allah want a loan? All those verses in the front of us saying the same. Chapter 2, verse number 245, uh, chapter uh, 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 57, uh, 18, uh, chapter 57, 11, uh, chapter uh, uh, 64, 17. Let's see 64, 17 so we can laugh. Read, if you loan Allah a beautiful loan, he will double your credit and he will grant you forgiveness. The biggest scam in earth, God need money. And if you give God money, which is Muhammad, he grant you forgiveness is not an option that maybe. Do you see Christian Prince saying to the Christians, if you make donation to me, I grant you forgiveness. I am not a scam lady and people, I'm not asking them for money. If people make donation, they make donation. Your prophet here saying to you, if you want to be grant forgiveness, he's forcing you, terrifying you. You want to go to hell or you want to go to heaven? If you want to go to heaven, give me your money. I grant you forgiveness. That is the scam. So look what happened. She called us and she started reading something have nothing to do with the Treaty of Omar. And we got her busted from Ibn Kathir itself. This is the Treaty of Omar. Unless they want to say that Ibn Kathir is a Christian and he is paid by the Christians. Was he? Looked like he was. And not only that, Ibn Kathir, he says that paying jizya is a sign of disrespect and disgrace hmm? what jizya is about it's a sign of disgrace and humiliation and insult and defeat do you see it balbula so don't call me and cry 
Uh, you know, you know, the sword in the prophet. <laughs> Fighting the Christians and the Jews. Why? Because they believe that the Messiah is God. And the Jews, they believe that Uzziah is a son of God. It's in the front of you. May Allah curse them. Do you see it? Hey, Christian, why are you insulting us? Coward. No wonder your prophet, he said, in his religion, that women have half a brain. Look like Muhammad, he took the other half a brain of yours. In my religion, I believe women have full a brain. We don't say women are half a brain and they are stupid. So when we show them what is written in their books, they don't want to read no more. I'm going to call you one more time. And I want you to read for me the Pact of Omar, lady. I challenge you to read it. And this is again Ibn Kathir. And don't tell me Ibn Kathir is a Christian. People will laugh at you. She will not. She got busted. Go ahead. Hello. Yeah, read for us. This is the real pact of Omar in front of you. Do you see it? This is the real pact of Omar in front of you. Do you see it, lady? Listen, I don't have time to talk. I don't now. care if you have Let time or not. No. Is that is is that just... the pact of Omar? Yes, yes or no? Is that the real pact of Omar? Yes, yes or no? Why are you lie to us? The huh? Quran is talking about charity. If you give charity in Islam, we believe that if you give, for example, one dollar, you mm. will get multiple in return. That's why our Creator, give Allah, the, give one dollar to who? Encourages give, give one to dollar give. to who? Give Have one you ever given in charity? Listen, no, you, okay, hold on, hold on. Why you are time? jumping now? Why you don't want to talk about the Pact of Omar? Is that a problem for you? Is it embarrassing? This is Ibn no, Kathir, not. and this is the Pact of Omar, and this is your Islamic website. Why you don't want to read it for me? Listen, I don't have time. Like I don't. I no, you have like time. You have time. You are a liar. You okay, are in the internet, and you have. Now we are wasting time. Why you don't read? Why you don't want to read? Okay. Do you agree with the Omar? Do you agree with the Omar? Yes. Yes or no? It's in the front of you. Do you agree with him? Is that a respect? Is that a human right? Is that the peaceful Islam? Yes or no? Read it if you are proud. You are the one who mentioned to me the pact of Omar. And this is your Islamic website, and this is Ibn Kathir, and this is the Quran. I challenge you to read it and to be proud. Go ahead. I don't hear you. What happened? Heart attack? Is this the treaty? Yes, this is the oh, treaty. And this is your I'm Muslim. This is your Muslim first. website. Yes, this is the treaty. So you were lying to me. Apologize. This is the treaty. This is the Ibn Kathir book. The treaty is hanging like you can Abdullah, see. Abdullah, don't play games with me. This is the book of Ibn Kathir. There, this is the book of Ibn Kathir. This is Quran and this is the book of Ibn Kathir. Stop playing games. Read it for us. You know what? One you know of what? The shortest you know what? You know what? You are a coward potato. Ooh. Get lost. Don't call me again. You know what? You don't dare to read it. You know what? You got busted. You know what? Your prophet is a criminal. You know what? Your prophet is a thief. And you know what? You are ashamed to read it. And you know what? This is Ibn Kathir. And you know what? This is not a Christian prince words. And you know what? You excuse me to be a liar and we discover that you are the liar. And you know what? You are the one who mentioned to me that this is the pact of Omar. And here we go. It's in front of us. You are the one who were proud about it five minutes ago. And now you are not proud no more. I will tell you what you know what you know what you thought I do not know you know what you thought I am ignorant like many Christians who have no idea what Islam is about you know what you thought you can lie to us and you can put some tears in your eyes and you can cry and everybody will take your side you know what you are a scam what a charity charity by stealing our money and giving it to the Muslims that a charity 
you force me to be jizya in my land and you take my home you take our churches all the biggest churches in the Middle East they used to be now they are mosques they used to be churches from Hagia Sophia all the way to Damascus all the way to Cairo all the way everywhere they are not mosques We protect you. Protect me from yourself. We pay your money not to die. We paid money. What a filthy cult. They kill you and then they go in your funeral and they cry. And now she don't want to read it. It's very embarrassing. The leader of the faithful, Muhammad, so Omar al Khattab is the leader. This is the one they are proud about his justice. Omar al Khattab, he did beat slaves girls because they covered their hair. Those are Christian women. They cover their hair. They want them to walk naked between them. They kidnap them from their husbands. And now they are forcing them not to wear clothes like Muslims. So they cannot, she cannot even cover her hair. This is why in the treaty it says you cannot wear clothes like the Muslims. You cannot even make hairstyle. You cannot even use names like them. You cannot even use nicknames like them. You cannot you cannot pray loud in the in in, in your churches. You cannot knock the, the bell of your church. You cannot fix the faucet of your church. You cannot fix the wall of your which means if the church collapse, collapse. That's it. You cannot build a new one. Do you see it? In return of safety, and actually, those Christians at that time they were coward for allowing Omar Khattab to enter. It's better to die and not to let this idiot to get in and humiliate them like this. Cowards. And then they say to you the crusade the crusade is because you attacked us do you see the crusade happened after this coward we became a crusaders because you attacked us not because we attacked you so you attack us you take our land you take our churches you force us to humiliate us and then you say why we attack back what a scam This is this is a treaty. We will not sound the bells of in our churches except this secretly or raise our voices while reciting our holy book inside our churches. So you have to read the Bible like this. Jesus said, you cannot raise your voice. In the presence of Muslims, nor noise of our voices in a prayer. Or even in a funeral, when you go in the funeral in the street, you have to be mute. Or light a torch in the funeral. We will not bury our dead next to Muslims dead. We will buy our servant who were captured by Muslims. What? He is forcing them. If you want to buy a servant, you have to buy it from the Muslims. We have a market for you. We capture your kids and now you want to buy them, buy them back. Do you see it, guys? You cannot buy them back. We took them now from you. We have a business market of slavery. You cannot buy from us. You can't even breach in, in your houses in private. Even inside the house, you can't teach your children about your, your religion. And by the way, this is not all of it. In the book of Rebecca Theor, this guy is just mentioning what they remember. The Pact of Omar, it's a lot more horrible than this. And imagine, 
she called me and she wanted to me to read. Do you know the part of Omar? Yes, I know it.